to my understanding, and, and Rick, please tell me if I'm wrong, um, you know, addictions can be really, really dangerous because they, you know, they're, they're dopamine inducing, they're dopaminergic um, substances, correct? And they are, they, they are, they stimulate dopamine, which is a neurochemical in the brain that gives us pleasure. Yeah. And, and to my understanding, the reason that a substance abuse can be so dangerous is because after long, um, instead of like that marijuana treating the anxiety, we actually need the marijuana just to get back to kind of like our baseline self, you know, like I think everyone's experienced this to some degree, whether it's chocolate or chips or exercise or, or whatever it may be, that people get to the point where, hey, yeah, at the first, this stimulus actually did really help me with my anxiety. But over time, I needed it just to feel normal. And that anxiety is actually amplified. And I'm still using this substance because it's brought down and messed with the way that um, – <clears throat> the ebbs and flows of dopamine are supposed to work in the brain. Um, is that far off from, from how it actually plays out? No, I think, I think that's an accurate description because, you know, uh, for, for people who are smoking marijuana, for example, for anxiety, for example, uh, it ultimately will have a rebound effect and make the anxiety worse. And the other issue that you brought up uh, is that we tend to develop a tolerance to these substances so that while we may get relief, maybe smoking uh, uh, marijuana once a day, uh, eventually our system adjusts, our brain adjusts, and pretty soon once a day doesn't give us the relief we want. So now we need two times a day, uh, and then we need three, and then we need four. Well, that's tolerance. That's just the body adopting to itself so that it is requiring more and more of the substance to give us the relief that we want.